Yeah. All right, I'm here with a couple of Dinwiddie Generals. Their, their main photographer, Bob Lamb, and also Tyree Dalton, the standout running back. Bob, how do you think Tyree played tonight? He played excellent. He had a number of long runs, ran tough, and scored enough points to put the game away by himself. Before I get to him as one of the stars of the night, along with Mr. Barlow and Mr. Lucius, um, did you get a lot of good foot of him tonight? That's what he cares about, I'm sure. Actually, I did. Okay. And uh, I got him some sitting on the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> have a safe trip back, buddy. Y'all have a good one. We're talking with, you uh, can cut all that. <laughs> no, we'll leave it in. We'll leave it in. We're here with Tyree Dalton of the Denver Generals. They win tonight 70-7 to over the Den uh, Denby Patriots. Uh, Tyree, you guys got off to a great start. They scored um, to make it a little bit interesting for a minute there, but then you got back to running the ball and 154 yards in the first half tonight. Um, it was just a matter of, hey, I want to come out and make a statement tonight to start the season. What was kind of your mindset? Just coming in, working hard, just – Get stuff in from the Actually, season, um, from January. Just keep working, mm -hmm. trying to make a name for myself, for sure. my team. Sure. Just know that it ain't going nowhere. Yeah. We here. And last year you were sort of the, the backup running, but got a lot of playing time behind Zion's third event. How much does your role change now being a feature back and also playing alongside a guy as explosive as Kyman and Petey Pope on offense for you guys? Just trying to step up and make big plays for the team. Four rushing touchdowns is a career high, I'm sure. Um, did you envision tonight that you'd find the end of that much? What was kind of what do you give a trip to? You're blocking up front? Yes, sir. Big old lineman. Mm -hmm. um, even though the score will say 70 to 7, did you feel like Denby kind of fought back more against you guys this year than last year? Yeah, they, first play, they played tough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> played tough. We just gotta make some adjustments. Mm -hmm. Coming in next week, playing Smithfield. Yeah, and another team in a 7x7 seven seven will be on the road for you guys. Um, coming down here, how important was it to, to have a sort of a, a game like this where the offense was clicking and you didn't have a lot of lapses? You had a couple there, but you guys stayed sharp in the second half. You don't want it. back and put it back in the box. It's gotta get better. Mm -hmm. Offensively, defensively, got some adjustment for the goal Monday. Mm -hmm. last we'll, two, get, we'll get right. Yeah, last two for you. Um, how much did the season you guys had a year ago, which was a good one, but sort of the ending, did that motivate you guys through summer, knowing yes, that you were close <laughs> to being in that state championship? Yes, sir. We're just coming in, working hard since January. Tell me about a couple of those teammates, uh, Robert Barlow and Sergio Lucius. They made some plays tonight. I think along with you, were they, you guys were the headliners tonight. Um, what did you see out of those guys stepping up? Well, they stepped up. They was making big plays last year. Mm -hmm. See, I'm just coming in. How important is it not to look past Smithfield to Salem for that game coming up? Because you, teams can do that and get caught. Yeah, preparation. This is going to prepare mm -hmm. for these next two weeks. Have a good home open against Salem. That's Tyree Dalton, 154 yards rushing in the first half tonight and four touchdowns. Thanks so much and keep it going. Thank you. You got it. Absolutely.